Today we're going to talk about crowdfunded solar product projects and why you should avoid them like the plague and why this channel will not review any products on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. And I do not have a problem with these platforms, but I have a problem with large corporations using these platforms just so that they can deliver a crappy product that does not work as advertised. And luckily to find real world examples of this is very easy. So I have some products that we have reviewed in the past and we're gonna talk about each one and why they failed miserably. So the first crowdfunded project is the Max Oak Blue Eddy AC200. And this is everything that we have wanted in a solar generator. All of the units that I got worked perfectly fine and all of their previous products were great. I liked their products, but unfortunately when people got their units delivered, they had a lot of problems with it. And unfortunately, this is very common with crowdfunded projects. I don't know why. This is an established company that I don't think would need crowdfunding. Some of the error codes and problems that people are having should never ever happen. And they always use the excuse that this is a pre-prototype model, but it's not acceptable. It should work from day one, especially considering how simple these systems are. It's an inverter, a battery, a solar charge controller. Like how difficult is it to make that work? And I don't think Blue Eddy needs crowdfunding. I see in my mind crowdfunding as being beneficial for individuals or small businesses. When someone that already has a product lineup and a team of engineers and distribution methods come out with a new product through crowdfunding, I expect it to be perfect. Next product is the EcoFlow Max R600. This unit gave everybody problems from day one. And this company said, oh, it's a pre-production model. Just like all of these other companies, they say, oh no, it's pre-production. That's why it's not working as advertised. But that's no excuse. And this unit has given me so many problems that when I try to turn it on, check this out. It will say off and it just turns off. This unit has done this for over six months. This one does not work, it is a brick. This is a huge paperweight, you cannot use this. And it was plagued with lots of other problems and then they kept redesigning it. They kept reposting videos trying to say sorry and we're gonna fix this and we're removing this feature and adding this feature, but that's not acceptable. You should actually have a working prototype and you should never give a non-working prototype to someone that's reviewing it in front of millions of people. Now this is the Leoch and this crowdfunding campaign I think is still active. They sent this out to me and I refused to do a review because it arrived arrived broken and then they made a list of like 20 different things that they're gonna add to this thing and that's not acceptable and it's just such a waste of time for me and my viewers to constantly be let down by me doing reviews of cheap products I like buying cheap products on Aliexpress sometimes just to see how bad they are but when you have a serious company trying to sell a product and it has a million different problems and the only excuse they can come up with is oh it's a pre-production unit that's not acceptable it's a waste of time next product is the Montec this is a waterproof solar generator and I really want to review this but for some reason, they have an Indiegogo campaign and I do not want to support these anymore because I don't know what they're going to send out to the customer. Even though they gave me a good unit, just like Blue Eddy did for this one, they might send out cheap junky ones to the customer and I have no idea. And so I told them that I'm not going to do the review and then they emailed me back. They said, if without your video, I'm afraid sales will not be good. As you can see from our product, it is not a prototype. It is ready for production. We just want to get more orders from Indiegogo to start mass production. So could you help post the video before the campaign ends? And I said, absolutely not. And to make a review video just to secure more pre-orders to make more money is not cool. It makes me very mad when my viewers spend their hard-earned money on an AC200 and then they have a million problems with it. Some people even sent their units back, they got a new unit and they still had the same problems or new problems. This thing is plagued with problems. And it sucks though because this has everything that we want. A lot of these crowdfunded campaigns seem so good on paper. They seem perfect. We're like, oh my gosh, we've been waiting so many years for this. And then you 
get the product and it's a piece of junk. And it pisses me off. It wastes our time, it wastes our money. YouTubers are trying to push this because we get affiliate payout for it. And I'm not gonna accept any more of that money. I will not do any more of these crowdfunded projects ever again. I do not support it. It's a waste of time. If these companies actually came out with good products every single time, I would be glad to review it. But time and time again, all of these things arrive damaged, they do not work, or the customer gets a product that does not work that well. So anyways, I'm not trying to go on a rant, I'm a little angry, I keep getting these emails, and I'm just like, I'm pissed off, honestly. But I do think that the crowdfunding platforms are still very useful for individuals or small companies to actually build a product that they cannot afford to do on their own. And a good case in point is the Electrodocus SBMS, or Solar Battery Management System. He saw a need in the market, he was already making videos previously, he designed his own circuit, and he came up with a product prototype that worked flawlessly, and he said, I need help with manufacturing. In that instance, I will support that 100%. But when you have a large company saying that they need extra cash, and then they secure millions of dollars of pre-orders, that's not what I'm gonna be supporting and that's not what I'm gonna be reviewing, ever. And I think most YouTubers are very honest and they have great content, but they just do not understand that these companies are not to be trusted. When they send you this junk over and over and they say, oh, it's a pre-production prototype and it lacks basic functionality and they have a whole team of engineers designing this, that's ridiculous. And then Electrodocus can make that in his garage and it works flawlessly from day one. Yeah, I'm not buying that excuse from any of these corporations. And even though these YouTubers mean well, you have to exercise caution. Do not take their word for it. And that's pretty much all I have to say. If you guys disagree with me, or if you really like these crowdfunded projects, please leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, I think I've said everything that I wanna say, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.